Hey everybody, happy Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. We've got a cool video in store for you today. It's another Versus. And this is one I think is important because these are fish that new fish keepers often want to keep in community tanks. And these fish can be quite different. And that is the platy versus the molly, two very common fish. Hopefully after watching this video, you will have a better idea of which fish is best for your aquarium. Appreciate you being here. So I thought it'd be cool if we started with some similarities. First of all, they are live bears. So both the platys and the mollies give birth to live young. Second thing I would say that they have in common is they're both very active fish. So these are fish that are gonna be constantly on the move, just swimming all around the tank. And therefore, most of the time, these are both fish that are gonna utilize pretty much the entire tank. So if you're looking for that fish that's gonna use the top of the tank, the middle, the bottom, they're always gonna be in search of food, they're always gonna be active, and they are gonna be swimming all over. Now, a few more other similarities is breeding. They're both relatively easy to breed. And if you are keeping them, we would probably recommend keeping one male to three females. And then they both have a lot of different color varieties, so a lot of colors to choose from, and their body types are relatively similar. So speaking of body shape, in terms of their size, there is some important differences here, and this is something you need to consider. The platys are gonna stay smaller, usually topping out at around maybe a couple inches, two, two and a half inches, where the mollies get a little bit longer. And so even the standard molly, it's not uncommon to see those at around three inches or so. And if you go sail thin mollies, I've seen some of those get quite large, somewhere in that five to six inch range. What that means is when it comes to tank size requirements, it's a little bit easier to get the platys in a smaller tank. Now, by the way, we've done species profiles on both of these fish. I will put those in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description below. Highly recommend, watch those videos if you wanna learn a lot more about both of these fish. But when it comes to the platys, you can, for the most part, get away with a 10 gallon, although I prefer them in a 20 gallon or larger, but a 10 gallon would be the bare minimum. With the mollies, I tend to like them more in a larger aquarium, particularly at least a 29, maybe a 40 breeder, just because they are a little bit larger. And oh, by the way, the mollies are going to be a little bit more assertive, a little bit more aggressive, and so that's another reason why you might wanna consider a slightly larger tank for your mollies. Now for water parameters, they both really prefer an above neutral pH. And for water hardness, either a moderate to a harder water. Absolutely, where I think one of the most important differences comes in when it comes to water parameters. I think platys are pretty straightforward. It's the mollies where there is some confusion. Often they are expected to be in or assume that they need a high amount of salt, even brackish water. And while it is true that mollies certainly do well in brackish water, I've known people who've used mollies to even cycle salt water tanks, where the platys not quite so much. When it comes to the mollies, they are for the most part a freshwater fish, where the problem comes in is if those mollies have been bred in brackish water, which they often are overseas, brought into the United States and then put in fresh water, sometimes that causes problems. You'll know that when you go to a pet store and you see some of those mollies doing what I like to call the death wobble or the death shimmy where their fins are kind of clamped and they're kind of just in place and they're kind of shimmying back and forth. Absolutely stay away from those fish. They are not going to live much longer. So when it comes to water parameters, yes, they do like a, a higher pH, certainly seven and a half to 8.0 would be very, very good. Water hardness can easily approach 10 to 12 degrees on, on your KH, but that salt, ideally what you'd want are mollies that have been bred in the United States in fresh water, and those tend to do a lot better. That's where we got our black mollies from, and they've been doing great in breeding in fresh water with no salt for years. So I think the bottom line is this, if you're considering either one of these fish, you're gonna get great color, great personality. I would say the platys are gonna be a little bit easier for a beginner, especially if you don't have a very large tank and you're in that 20, 10 to 20 gallon range. And the platys tend to be a little bit more hardy 
and experience fewer health issues. Absolutely. So once again, if you want a lot more information about either one of these fish, check out the description below and we'll put at least one of them in the end card here. Appreciate you being here and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.